essentially, you know, the earth in its natural state has the elements that the plant needs to grow. It has the nutrients, the potassium, the nitrogen. Due to certain things, maybe droughts, erosion, and I'm talking about just weather, it might not have a good balance of those nutrients for the healthiest plant. The biodynamic preps create that good balance. This is the first screening process here. We're taking it through just a kitchen screen to get the biggest particles out and let the smallest stuff screen on through. Just that out. These are the crystals that George crushed down to this fine. These are what we're crushing on down further. Yeah. <laughs> the silica is for the atmosphere. It's sort of everything above ground. So you're fertilizing and stimulating photosynthesis and plant metabolism and um, enlivening everything that's going on above ground. It's like sort of like an atmospheric fertilizer that works on everything that's growing. And then the horn manures, the opposite poles, that works on the root growth and everything below ground. It stimulates earthworms and microbial activity and humus formation and all that good stuff. At the beginning, I know for me, a lot of times when I stir, I'll be stirring and there's resistance. There's resistance in the water, it's, it, it's not smooth, um, and I myself am, am just you know, not that comfortable, and oh, my hand hurts in there, how much longer, and, and that's sort of the first 20 minutes. And then as you move through this experience, that fades, and this, this process connection happens with what you are stirring. We stir in one direction and we create a vortex, which in nature, as you see in the rivers, this is an energizing principle. It brings in energy, it brings up energy. And we switch directions. That's how we stir in biodynamics. You move through an experience from the beginning to the end. The water feels different, the you feel different. The whole thing about the biodynamic preparations is that it's a small amount of substance and a large amount of energy, and that's a homeopathic principle. Biodynamics works with revitalizing the earth, um, and that was my interest, was healing. That's how I got into market gardening, that's, how I've, that's why I was interested in biodynamics, and found that it was also the most interesting material I had ever come upon. This is one way to work with the earth healing, the human healing, and everything in between, which is the animals and the insects and the atmosphere. So we have the two horn preparations, the horn manure and the horn silica. And then we have uh, the compost preparations, which involve the, all these other herbs. And they all go into an animal sheath, except for the stinging nettle that just goes directly into the earth. This is coming from, um, Rudolf Steiner was, was a very special person, and he brought a lot of things to humanity. And anthroposophy is the larger principle which all of this works from. He was clairvoyant, and he received this information, you could say. That's how I see it. This was given to him from the spiritual world and then it was brought to us. And, and I think that that has happened before in time, we know. But he has brought things like how Einstein has brought things. And it, but it was more with the natural world and with, from the spiritual realm. What Steiner said was we're working with forces and not just substances. So forces cannot be seen, but they can be felt. Like the force of magnetism you, you don't, you can, unless you see, you know, use a magnet, you can't really see that force, or the force of electricity, or the force of gravity. When I, you know, you can't see the force, but you can see the effects when I drop something. The gold also carries a frequency that the whole sort of ancient wisdom. So whoever's touching it begins to have this experience, and there's all these current energies that are happening, and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome just to sit back and watch it be a part of it. So there's forces all around us. What we're doing with, in biodynamics is we're harnessing the forces of nature. That's as holistic as you can probably get. That's how I see biodynamics, it's just holistic to the highest degree. <laughs>